Ladies and gentlemen, Matthews here from MNL Forex Traders. I hope you're doing all right. So today I want to, to, to talk, talk to you about something very, very, very important. Okay, very important, but yet most people don't even talk about it. Okay, so it's uh, it has to do with uh, of course, knowing when to actually sell or buy, and also apart from that. I want to talk about the importance of waiting for the confirmation, right? And uh, another thing I want to talk about is uh, I want to tell you something, guys. I want to tell you, I want to tell you that there is no holy grail, okay? There is no holy grail. No strategy works hundred percent. And I want to show you a certain setup that uh, happened on uh, gold last week, okay? So uh, some of you might look at the, some of the trades that we analyze and you might think that, oh, this guy is always, always winning or oh, these guys have the holy grail. Now nah, we don't. Okay, we have also, we have also have losses that happen every time. Okay, it's very important for you to able to understand that. Look at this particular trade. Okay, what have I done? Okay. Look, so look at this gold setup that we had last week. So I, by the way, I didn't take this particular trade because I was waiting for confirmation to sell. Okay. Before all that, let me show you. We had a very very nice setup, right? We had a dual resistance QML, resistance, resistance, and the market broke to the, to the upside, and and after that we had the there was a low here. Okay. There was a low here low and we had break of structure right here okay so this was a perfect setup okay this can this kind of this is the kind of setup that i take okay whenever i have this kind of setup i become like, confident like that and then we had a resistance another resistance here okay and according to our strategy i have to wait for price now to come back to this level right and uh, look what happened the market came pushed and if you see this this is actually a compression okay very nice setup this was a compression it compressed nicely but it failed to work price literally went through the roof okay price went through the roof and if i was stubborn if i took this trade and i was stubborn and i've lost a lot of money right because the market kept on going to the upside. And uh, if I was stubborn and say, ah, no, this is going to, it's going to like get back. It's going to actually go down. I'd have, I'd have lost a lot of money. Look at because this is, remember this is good. And the market went to the upside for how many pips? Like this is like 200, 200 pips. Okay. So I'm trying to say is have the strategy. And that's why it should tell you when to get out of the market and when to stay out of the market. It should be very clear. There should be no if, no but, no but. There should be no buts there. Have the stop loss in place, okay? So usually when the market comes here, I, I'm looking for a fake out here. I mean, I'm looking for a confirmation around this level here, okay? I want the market to give me some sort of confirmation. Of course, after taking out the liquidity, I want, first of all, the market, to do something, I want the market to take out the liquidity above this level. And once the market has taken out the liquidity above this level, I want it to give me some fake outs there, some some something like this. Okay, this would have been very tempting. Okay, look at this. So the market came to this level and then dropped a fair bit and then pushed the ups. So if you took this trade, I'm sorry, you were tricked. We had a very nice confirmation here, which would have actually prompted me to enter. Okay, this is going to be a very, very nice trade. This is nice confirmation, I mean. Look, the market gave us a nice confirmation here, but then what happened? The market pushed to the upside. I wasn't, I, I, this was uh, on, on my watch list, but I didn't get to actually take this trade because I, was, I had a lot of trades, trades running last week. Okay, look what has happened here. The market gave us a nice conf a confirmation entry here, right? So you enter from here after seeing this pin bar, and then what happens? 
the market drops a little bit and then takes you up okay so some people will be very stubborn of course stop loss is going to be probably around this level here right so once the once you enter here and the market goes against you why should you enter again here once you've been taken out go elsewhere look for another setup to trade okay because we know once the market has uh, taken out taken you out here from the higher high where the higher high is most likely it's not going to come back it's not going to come back most of the time and this this is just a, a stop top hand the market comes to this level and then drops here so since that's cases but once you've been taken out look for another opportunity don't try and uh, think you you know it all and uh, you you're always right you're going to lose a lot of money you end up losing a lot of money so the best thing you can do is make sure that you accept when you're wrong when you're wrong say okay i'm wrong let me look for another setup if you try to insist I'm telling you, you're going to lose your money. Okay? The market is never wrong. The market is always right. So don't try to be smart, okay? Don't be right to don't, don't try to be smarter than your system. Make sure you follow every step of the strategy. It this this strategy met all our criteria. We had the complete QM here, but fake out, fake out. We had another entry signal here, but still failed. Okay, it still failed. What does that tell you? No strategy how it's hundred percent. But beautiful setups last year worked out very perfect, just like this one. But this one didn't work. Why? Do I know the answer? No, I don't know the answer. Okay. So that's how it is. Hence, Mark Douglas talked about those five principles of the of, of, of forex trading. Okay. Anything can happen. Anything can happen in the market, and every moment in the market is unique. That's because this setup worked last time. Doesn't mean that this setup is going to work this time around. Why? Because every moment is unique in the market, and just because you got an edge in the market, and doesn't mean that it's going to work hundred percent of the time. How does Mark Douglas define an edge? He defined it as an edge is nothing more than a prob a higher probability of one thing happening over another a higher probability of one thing happening over another that's what an edge is so if you have the strategy that works doesn't mean that you're going to win you're going to win 100 percent of your time no what that simply means that you are the casino Okay, you own the casino, you have the edge, you have the higher probability of winning, not over a single trade, no, but over a series of trades. And if we can shift our mindsets from a trade trade basis to a series of trades, we are actually going to change our, our results. Because most of the time, we usually focus on uh, wanting that particular trade to win. That's the reason why you end up finding yourself, you find, you find, end up finding yourself uh, putting a lot more risk on this particular trade and not the other one. Why? Because you somehow believe that that particular trade is going to win. Why should you do that? No reason at all. As long as you have, you have a systemic way of uh, access, accessing your setups and all the setups have to meet a, certain, a particular criteria for you to take the trade, then there's no reason for you to increase a lot size on this particular trade and on than than the other one unless of course you're trading different setups all right so this is this is very important guys this is very very important i can't emphasize, emphasize this enough because this is what kills most traders you get taken out here you you sell again here when you see this card drop you sell again and what does the market do the market keeps on going up 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 and you have lost all your money instead of Realizing that okay, no, this is no, this is no longer an, a downtrend. This is no longer going to be a reversal here. Probably there's another label somewhere where the market is going to turn from. Okay, so you just get out of the market, right? So if you see where it it turned from, turn from here. And if you look, there was actually a QM somewhere here, and the market dropped. But you were too focused at this level. If you've been taken out, get out of the market. Look for another setup to trade. You are not always going to be right. 
get over your ego. All right. If you can accept when you're wrong, it is a half a bit that you're going to make it. Okay. But only accept when you're wrong. Accept if you can take it out. Look for another trade. Okay. This was going to this is this was a very very nice setup. They had the compression here. And this is one of the setups that actually work, but it didn't. It dropped, I mean, it took out the liquidity above and went to the upside. Okay, this happens now and then. So, your secret should be able to realize when you're wrong and get out. That's the reason why you have a stop loss. A stop loss should tell you two things one, you are wrong on this particular trade, you are wrong. Two, it should be able to save you money. So it should be able to save you money and it should be able to invalidate your trading setup, all right? To tell you when you are wrong so that you can get out. That's the reason why we have a stop loss there. Nothing else, okay? So this is very important and I thought I would share with you guys. It's really, really important that you actually understand why you're putting a stop loss there. And once your once stop loss is hit, Never try to move it, okay? That's a very, very bad idea. Don't never try to move your stop loss above with hope that the market is going to go back in your favor. It won't, okay? It won't. Make sure you remember that. Make sure you remember that, okay? And uh, once you're taken out, it's okay. Go look for another setup. Make sure you are systemic in what you are risking per trade. Make sure you are comfortable with how much you are willing to lose on that particular trade. Never take a trade without knowing exactly how much you are risking on that particular trade. Always calculate your risk. Always use a position size calculator when trading because you, you have to have an idea of how much am I risking in this particular trade. This is a risk business. Therefore, you're supposed to be able to calculate your risk before you even consider taking the trade. But most of us don't do that. Most of us just jump into the trade, we get excited after seeing a setup, and then we wonder why the market uh, goes against us and, and end up losing a lot of money. The money that we're not even uh, ready to lose. Why? Because we are so hopeful that that particular trade is going to win. We are so hopeful that this one is going to win. That's what kills most of us. So please, I hope you learned something from this. This is what I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you really find this valuable. If you do, please hit that like button, subscribe, tap on the bell notification. Also, leave your comment in the comment section if you've learned something. Thank you so much for watching and God bless you. I wish you a very productive week next week. Thank you and God bless you.